This video will run through the basics of the Units tab. More specifically, creating units and unit groups, customizing unit properties and unit group properties. A unit is a vehicle, equipment, person, animal or other moving or stationary object that can be monitored. It should be noted that although the monitoring and units tabs look similar, they have different functions. To start working with units, click on its heading in the top panel. There are two modes you can work with, units or groups. Select units. Below the search bar is the sort icon. Click the icon to list the units alphabetically. To quickly find a unit, type a keyword in the search box. To the right of each unit listed is the Unit Property Spanner. Let's select the spanner. The Unit Properties window contains many features, however, we will focus on the basics, the General tab and Icon tab. In the General tab of the Unit Properties, we'll see a name field at the top of this area. This field is directly related to how the unit appears on the maps, work list and in reports. You can also select the Icon tab in the same window. If you select the Icon Library, you can actually see our selection of over 200 icons to choose from. If none of these quite fit the design you're looking for, you can click on the box showing the current unit icon and upload your own custom icon. Feel free to customise these as you please, but remember that icon changes are for everyone, not just yourself. Now let's exit the Unit Properties window. To the right of the Unit Property Spanner icon is the Unit Copy icon, denoted by two pieces of paper. This will only be accessible with the appropriate permissions. Next to the Unit Copy icon is an X. A grey X indicates you do not have authority to delete the unit. A red X indicates you do have authority to delete the unit. If you accidentally delete a unit, you must report the issue immediately to our support team. A deleted unit can only be restored within 30 days of deletion. Now return to the top of the work area and select Groups. Many of the functions for individual units are the same for groups. For example, Sort, Copy and Delete. Click the Sort icon to list the unit groups alphabetically. To quickly find a unit group, Type a keyword in the search box. In group mode, you will notice that the unit group names on the list have a plus symbol to the left and a number in brackets to the right. Click the plus symbol to expand the group. The group's tooltip displays the unit in the group. The number in brackets indicates the number of units in each group. To open the unit group properties window, Click on the Spanner icon. Select the General tab to name a unit group. To add units to a group, double click on the available units listed on the left or click Add and the units will move to the box on the right. Alternatively, hold Control and select multiple units then click Add. You also have the option to select all the units listed. Simply click on the Select All button. To remove units from a group, double click on the unit listed on the right or click Remove. Next, select the Group Icon tab and choose an image from the Icon Library or upload an image to represent the unit group. Once you've customised the group icon, click OK to exit the Unit Group Properties window. To create a new unit group, click on the New button and enter the group name. Next, select the units that you want to add to this group. Click OK to exit the Unit Group Properties window. You have successfully created a unit and unit group as well as customising unit properties and unit group properties. 
you should now feel confident navigating your way around the Units tab. Check out our Knowledge Base at any time if you would like to learn more.